Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your QuickBooks online account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you cancel your QuickBooks online subscription? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to cancel your QuickBooks online subscription anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you're busy and sometimes it's better to pay a bookkeeper or an accountant to take care of your book. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks online account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged in and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you wanna cancel your QuickBooks online subscription, you're gonna look for this gear icon here on the top right. Once you do that, you're gonna see this menu, but off to the right under profile, you wanna click on subscriptions and billing. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to see the plan that you're on. So this is a test account, so it's on the free trial. However, if you want to cancel your paid subscription in QuickBooks Online, click on this blue cancel button. Okay, once you do that, it gives you a warning that they're gonna cancel your subscription immediately. Now, if you're gonna be canceling, you've already paid for the month for your QuickBooks Online subscription. Usually they're not gonna give you a refund. You'll still have access up until that final day, but that would stop any future billing for your QuickBooks Online subscription. Also, they let you know that you can always view your data inside QuickBooks Online as long as you have an active subscription. If not, you can still view the data for up to one year after the subscription ends. You're just not gonna be able to make any changes. If you're okay with that, go ahead and click on continue to cancel. Okay, next they're asking a few questions on why you wanna cancel your QuickBooks Online subscription. You can choose to fill all this out. I don't like to do that, so I'm gonna click on skip survey and cancel here on the top. Okay, next you're gonna get this confirmation confirming that your subscription with QuickBooks Online has been canceled. So let me click on God. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes. Now it confirms that my QuickBooks Online subscription has been canceled and I can read only all the way up until looks like one year from now. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to cancel your QuickBooks Online paid subscription, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.